<laughs> Hello, my name is Michael Sullivan. I'm an Augustinian friar. Next month, September 9th, I will celebrate being an Augustinian friar for 60 years and ordained on the same date, September 9th, 53 years. I know I don't look that old, but I am. I'm 80, 80 years of age. When I joined the Augustinians, I was uh, 20 years of age. I grew up in an Augustinian parish. I was baptized by an Augustinian, Father Bougea, who was dead many years from Malta, but he was stationed at St. Nick's of Talentine in the Bronx, where I was born and raised. And then when I was in high school, I decided, well, maybe I'd become a priest. And the only priests I knew were the Augustinians. So I joined the Augustinians, and after I was in the order for a while, I came to love and know the Augustinians and be very proud of our community. But anyway, my ministry for the last 40 years has been parish missions. I've traveled all over the country, South Africa. I've been to Japan, Canada, giving parish missions. And the monies that I earned went to the community to take care of the elderly and infirm. I'm now becoming one of them. I'm not infirm, praise God, but I'm getting close to being elderly. And with the virus, the pandemic, I'm not able to give missions. It's like I've been retired. All my bookings have been canceled. So I'm appealing to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, in a way of thanksgiving and in gratitude, and also to help, ask you to help us to continue to take care of our elderly and infirm. I'm standing here in front of a beautiful sculpture of St. Thomas of Villanova, done by Anthony Vesco, who's a fine, renowned artist, sculptor, who's from South Philadelphia. And he did this a number of years ago with the little children. And he's, uh, where is it, right here, they have a, a little girl has a plate in her hand. And people come by and they put nickels and dimes in the plate. It's really very touching to see it. But this is the monastery. It's been, we have 41 men living in this house, uh, most of whom are retired. The second floor is locked down. It's infirmary. And with the code virus, uh, no one's allowed in or on the floor except the nursing personnel. And there are about six men in the house who still work for the university. Otherwise, we're self-sufficient. So I no longer bring in funds, but because of people like yourself helping us, we are able to live the life that we're living. And one of the wonderful things is, you know, I've always been a doer, a self-starter, a <laughs> go-getter. And now, all of a sudden, 80 years of age, instead of being a doer, I'm now becoming a beer. Yes, I'm learning how to be, that it's okay to be, Michael, you don't have to do everything. But there's a love and a compassion, and we have prayers at morning, noon, and night. We gather together, we have 11 o'clock Mass every day, Community Mass. There's a real sense of caring because of the wonderful life we have here. We pray more, and I'm very present to the community, and they are to me. So it's a, it's a wonderful experience, and you meet some of the nicest men on, on the earth in this place. Men who have brilliant backgrounds, authors, educators, administrators, and they reach an old age and they're just humble, simple men. Every morning we pray for all our benefactors and those who have been so generous to us to keep us alive and going. So on behalf of my brothers in St. Augustine, I thank you and I love you and may God continue to bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.